It was Marilyn in 1953 and Bretman Rock in 2021, but amidst thousands of bunny ears and tails, fans also ogled A-listers like Cindy, Denise, Lindsay, and Madonna. Keep watching for who put it all on the line. With I only brush. read the articles. <laughs> Supermodel Cindy Crawford was on the cover of Playboy in July 1988, and again that October. She was shot by famed photographer Herb Ritz, and the collab was a brilliant one. According to the Museum of Fine Arts Boston, Ritz was all about celebrating the human body and embracing the carefree California lifestyle. As Vanity Fair noted, Ritz also introduced Crawford to her future hubby, actor Richard Gere. Crawford and Gere were married in 1991 and divorced a few years later. Even then, even in the middle of it, you knew it was a pretty major moment. Now that she's in her 50s, Crawford fondly remembers her sizzling modeling days. She told Netta Porte in 2019, I look back at some of my old Playboy pictures and I think, why wasn't I walking around naked all the time? For the record, she's still a total knockout. Lindsay Lohan was on the cover of Playboy for the January-February issue in 2012, and her appearance came at a contentious time in her life. Just before her debut with the brand, Reuters reported that the star was arrested in 2011 on charges related to drunk driving, which violated her probation. I learned from my mistakes, and I think that's the most important thing. But never mind the legal issues. At the time, a spokesperson for Lohan claimed of her spread, the pictorial is absolutely fantastic and very tasteful and will be accompanied by an interview that will let readers see another side of Lindsay. But Playboy had to shell out some serious cash to land Lohan. According to TMZ, she was originally offered $750,000 and came back with a demand of $1 million. Evidently, Lilo accepted a counter-offer. As MTV News reported at the time, photos of the highly anticipated shoot were leaked early. And in an effort to spin the situation into gold, Hef tweeted, "...because of the interest and the internet leak, we're releasing the Lindsay Lohan issue early." Lindsay Lohan was the top search name on the internet yesterday. Hot, hot, hot. Drew Barrymore was splashed all over the January issue in 1995 when she was just 19 years old. But while she saw it as empowering, Steven Spielberg, who famously directed Barrymore in E.T. when she was seven, was less than impressed. Barrymore explained to the Hollywood Foreign Press at the time, "...he still sees me as a child, makes me remove my lipstick when I go into his office. Wait till he sees me nude in Playboy, his scolding phone call." But even so, Barrymore had nothing but good things to say about her shoot. She added, "...it was like my own personal adventure. I totally had a great time with it, and I think I'm very comfortable in my skin, and to me, the human body is a really beautiful thing. I'm not for extra gratuitous nudity, but this was really interesting and a dare." Spielberg's reaction went a bit beyond a phone call, but it was all in good fun. As the pair recounted on The Drew Barrymore Show in 2021, the director gifted her with a quilt that read Cover Up and used paper doll outfits to dress her photos. And in response, Barrymore sent him a series of shots of herself in a nun's habit with captions that read, "'I'm sorry, I've seen the light, I'm on my way.'" And those are still, like, in one of your rooms in your house. Yes! Oh my god, there it is! <laughs> Fashion icon Naomi Campbell landed on the cover of Playboy in 99, but she was already a shining star by then. As Vogue France noted, she became a cult figure of the 1990s with her feline gaze, dynamic personality, and biting comebacks, and has dominated the fashion scene ever since. The year after the issue hit the newsstands, Campbell explained to ABC News, "...that took me eight years to say yes to Playboy. I mean, I don't think being in the nude is vulgar at all if it's done in an artful way." But it wasn't the last time she went topless. As the Daily Mail reported, she posed shirt-free for Interview magazine in 2012 and for NARS Cosmetics in 2019. Ex-wife of Rolling Stone's frontman Mick Jagger, Jerry Hall and their daughter Lizzie Jagger have both posed for Playboy. Hall was in the October 1985 issue after staying pretty buttoned up throughout her career. She told the Daily Telegraph that when she was 16, Artist Salvador Dali had offered her a part in a movie, but she turned it down, saying, "...at that point I wasn't doing nude. My mom didn't want me to do nude, so I said no. But I really regret that. That would have been fabulous." Years later, daughter Lizzie covered the June 2011 issue, dishing on fans' misconceptions of her. As she told the magazine, "...people assume that because I was brought up on Rolling Stones tours and my father is who he is, I'm some kind of rock and roll bad girl." But I do like to have a bit of fun, and at 27, I feel comfortable expressing myself through my body. 
As the material girl herself tells it, Madonna worked as a nude model for art and photography classes when she was 19 and living in New York City. Explaining that she just did it to pay the bills, she also revealed on Instagram, "...many of these photos were sold to Playboy and Penthouse when I became famous. The photographers exploited me, and then the patriarchy tried to shame me for being naked." I think we got this shot. As Complex recounted, Playboy released the shots in the September 1985 issue, and Madge was still game to do the cover, but fully clothed. Still, the photos and her unapologetic response to any shaming eventually led to a collab with artists Keith Haring and Andy Warhol. As Madonna noted in her post, "...you cannot stop art by trying to shame it. Creation always wins." When actor Olivia Munn shot the July-August 2009 issue, she negotiated a PG cover. But even so, wardrobe issues ensued. In her memoir, Suck It, Wonder Woman, Munn claimed she requested her own stylist for the shoot, but the photographer had a different plan. She recalled, "...I get a call saying that this photographer insists on using a different wardrobe stylist. I've had one too many bad experiences with so-called fantastic artists and stylists, and I didn't want the cover of Playboy to be something I wasn't proud of." When Munn ultimately met the other wardrobe person, she didn't like the options, including, as she noted, "...a black fishnet one-piece bathing suit where you can see everything going on." So, like, lounging and, and trying to look awesome while I'm, you know, kind of exposed isn't the most comfortable for me. After a lot of back and forth, Munn ultimately got the more modest shoot that she was originally promised. As she explained to Kotaku.com, "...there's nothing wrong with Playboy. There's nothing wrong with women who want to be in the magazine if they're comfortable being naked and showing everything. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not something I'd do." Model and burlesque dancer Dita Von Tees covered the December issue in 2002, but as the story goes, the star's full stage name actually came about thanks to the magazine. As she told Vogue, she was born Heather Sweet but had gone by Dita for years. And when she posed for Playboy in the 90s, they asked for her last name. With a phone book in hand to source some ideas, she said, "...I found the name Von Trees, and I called Playboy and said, I'm going to be Dita Von Trees." You can be whatever character you want with lingerie, too. But the mag accidentally called her Tease, and the rest is history. The model added, "...I had a laugh once when somebody once said, "'Oh, her name is so fabricated,' and I'm like, "'It's a typo.'" Back in the 90s, a then-up-and-coming Sharon Stone hoped Playboy would help her land the role of a lifetime, and it definitely did, claiming she's all about making those business moves, she told The Drew Barrymore Show in 2020. Even when I wanted Basic Instinct, I decided I was going to do a Playboy article specifically because I wanted to get this film. A few years later, she revealed just how Basic Instinct changed everything for her, explaining to Playboy, "...people started chasing me down the street, hiding in my car, showing up at my house. Unbelievable. I've hidden under the counter in the kitchens of restaurants. Sudden fame of this enormity is scary." But after that bumpy start, Stone has been riding the wave ever since. In 2014, when Oprah asked about the pressure that comes with being a lifelong bombshell, Stone replied, "...it's a, it's a pleasure for me now. I mean, I'm going to be 56 years old. If people want to think I'm a sex symbol, it's like, yeah!" Actor and Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Garcelle Beauvais landed the August 2007 cover at 40 years old. And as she told CY Interview at the time, "...I thought about it over the years and just thought all the time, what will people think? I guess being at my age now, it's sort of like I really wanted to do it for me, and it wasn't what other people thought." Reflecting on her covergirl status with the brand, the star revealed that she chose her own glam squad, the location, and how far she wanted to go, as she shared on The Real. I did do it, and let me tell you, it was something that you have to muster your, you know, you gotta be brave about it. Still, she says one time was plenty when it comes to doing a shoot like that. She added, mm, I don't think I need to do it again. I think once is enough. Denise Richards covered Playboy in December 2004, less than a year after she gave birth to her daughter Sam. Richards was married to Charlie Sheen at the time, later welcoming daughters Lola and Eloise. But as her kids grew older, Richards wanted to be open about her history with the iconic brand. "...I feel great walking down the beach in my bikini." She revealed on the Daddy Issues podcast in 2019, "...I'm honest with them, like they had heard that I was in Playboy. I didn't even think they would even know what that is." But she also thinks her kids might not want to know the whole story either, because kids are always grossed up by their parents, no matter what, forever. Actor Robin Givens covered the September 94 issue for a very significant reason. She wanted to share her own perspective on her volatile marriage to boxer Mike Tyson. As she recalled on Just the Sip, "...I felt like my own voice at that time had gotten so lost, so I wanted to speak 
myself. Describing how she loves writing and even penned her own article to accompany her spread in the magazine, she added, I just kind of believed in right, and I believed in standing up, and I kind of believed in justice. And these days, it appears that Givens is truly living her life to the fullest, as she explained. I feel happy. I don't want to be afraid to be happy and, and, and branch out and spread my wings and mm -hmm. fly. Iconic sex symbol Raquel Welch was on the cover of Playboy back in December 1979, and according to the Daily Mail, Hef had asked her no less than 57 times to shoot the cover. But the model refused to bear it all, and that didn't go over well with Hef. As the star recalled on Life Stories, she had negotiated a more modest shoot but was eventually called into Hef's office to hash things out with him, with her lawyer close by. And I sat there in front of him and I said, what's the problem, Hugh? And he said, well, there's no tits and there's no ass. <laughs> Despite the awkward situation, Welch still walked away with her hard-earned paycheck. Heather Ray Young rose to fame on Selling Sunset, but back in 2010, she was a 23-year-old Playboy centerfold. As she told The Sun, It catapulted my career. It changed my life. It was the most defining moment in my life. I don't regret anything I've ever done. I'm proud of my life. Everything I've done has got me to where I am today. Young went on to marry HGTV star Tarek El Moussa in October 2021 and became a stepmom to his two kids. But as she revealed to Access, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to tell the kids I did Playboy. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.